I'm Joe Namath. Join me as we explore how building a team, partnering with the right organizations, and making the right decisions will give you and your company the competitive edge. That's why we're going to examine breakthrough technologies with a global leader in the field. Data is driving all businesses these days and the challenge is how to manage it effectively, protect it securely and get the results that you need precisely when you need them. In this next segment, we will explore the link between technology and business success. More than $200 billion in fleet assets exist in the United States alone, but how many vehicles are really required? We're talking about fleet optimization, the fleet consulting market segment. Our next guest is helping to reshape, streamline, and above all, help companies globally save money, time, and reduce emissions. With us, the Managing Director of Bishop Fleet Optimization. Welcome Derek Bishop to Competitive Edge. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks, Christy. Thank you so much for being here. Now, Derek, talking about the problems, let's say the inefficiencies companies with fleet vehicles face, especially when uh, the in inefficiencies impact the bottom line. That's right. Um, vehicle fleets are a major cost item for most organizations, whether the vehicles are leased or owned. Organizations come to Bishop Fleet Optimization uh, to find a way to credibly optimise the number of vehicles they've got and also to improve the efficiencies of how those vehicles are used. So finding vehicle surpluses and removing surplus vehicles has always been a problem in the past until the advent of GPS. Um, we have a slightly different business model where we own thousands of GPS units and we provide them to our clients so that they can uh, collect data over a five week period they then give the GPS units back to us and from that we can tell how many vehicles they need by site and by individual vehicle type. Hmm. Executives absolutely love what we do. It's a way to reduce costs and improve the bottom line. All of this can be achieved with no loss of service delivery capability. More than 90% of our clients will save a million dollars for every 50000 they spend on consulting. Oh my gosh, so they must love you. Now let me ask you this, Bishop Fleet Optimization is a vertically integrated company. How does that benefit fleet owners? Well, we have a different um, business model uh, to the typical GPS model. Uh, we build our own equipment. It's focused on um, providing an affordable service and it's also change management focused. We have a closed loop system where we gather all of our own data rather than the client providing it to us. It allows us to uh, have a repeatable process uh, that has a high findings implementation rate every time. There's no resistance to change. People understand the reasons why change is required because we provide them with the data that they need in an understandable way. The five-week utilisation audit is really important. It's based on uh, accepted industry best practice. Um, normally with a GPS, you'll be expected to uh, have a three-year minimum term contract. What we've found with our research is that utilisation patterns typically follow a daily, weekly or monthly pattern. So you only need to collect five weeks of data to be able to uh, come up with the results. After the first month, you see the same activity month after month. So it really makes sense to do it the way that we do it. Now, Fleet utilization audits, help me understand this. Explain what BFO your company accomplishes for companies using the GPS sourced and the GPS based analysis. Well, we help organizations to review how their fleet operates with the aim to make it more efficient. Five week GPS uh, audits remove all the uncertainty uh -huh. that mileage analysis and log books used to um, cause. There's no need to buy the equipment because we provide it as part of the service. And we identify um, surpluses with pinpoint accuracy, so staff now understand why the decisions are being made. All of our work is, uh, has a very strong graphics focus, so you can see in an instant why the decisions are being made, because you can see it right in front of you. A picture is a thousand words after all. What sectors, uh, Derek, benefit most from your services? Um, mainly federal, state, and any uh, and local authority. But uh, any fleets really with 100 or more vehicles are ideal, but we own 
thousands of GPS data loggers so we can handle larger operations as well. Derek, can you point to examples of BFO clients currently benefiting from the services today? Uh, just last month we completed an audit for Penn State University, oh. um, Volusia County in Florida as well. We were able to quantify uh, ways that they can change their fleet and their operations to make them more efficient. Most of our clients internationally will save around 21% of their fleet with no loss of service delivery capability. That's a lot. That's a lot, yeah. Um, and this work's just not possible without using GPS. Some consulting firms are approaching BFO as well uh, to gather operational data for their clients. They can do activity-based costing with more surety rather than using sampling. Uh, we provide a, a full data set um, which helps them to provide good uh, consulting outputs for their companies. Um, we also um, look at uh, operational items such as call centres. Uh, we found one of our clients had 78% of their clients uh, that weren't being serviced from the nearest office. Another client had the wrong fleet composition. They had 84% of their fleet uh, comprised of four-wheel drive vehicles, but only 2% ever went off-road. In general, how do people feel, and this is just a curious question if I may ask, uh, knowing that they're driving, driving a vehicle that's tracked and monitored in real time? Well, it's not monitored in real time. It's, uh, the data is gathered on the, uh, on the logger and it stays there until it's taken out at the end of the process. People don't mind, they'd rather have their managers making good fleet decisions rather than some across the board cut that can really impact the way that they do their day to day work. So it makes sense, uh, unions are happy with it, um, staff are happy with it. Um, and at the end of the day, the taxpayer and shareholders are also happy with it. Thank you so much. Do you have a website where our viewers can check it out and learn more? Sure, bishopfleet.com, or you can call us on 855 Optimal. Derek, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate your time. And if you're looking for ways to optimize your vehicle fleet for greater business profitability, find out more by visiting competitiveedgetv.com. That's competitiveedgetv.com. And when we return, we're going to discover an innovative East Coast company leveraging communication solutions, lowering costs, and delivering big, big bottom line savings. Don't go away. We'll be right back. I want to thank our guests for inspiring us and thank you for being a part of the Competitive Edge. I'm Joe Namath.